Hi everyone, welcome. So today I am going to explain you the option 1 of question number 34 in GATE 2023. So this is just a rough explanation. If you want complete explanation, please go through the reference li link which I am going to give you in the description. Okay. So while I was preparing for this, while I was searching for the answer, I got to know one thing. I felt personally that if you don't have any bookish knowledge, it is very, very difficult to survive in upcoming examinations. If you want to write any upcoming examinations, you have to have a very, very bookish knowledge. If you say we can't understand English, if you say, you know, uh, we don't have any patience to read the books, it is very, very difficult for you to, uh, you know, survive in the upcoming examinations. Okay, because every exam is getting conceptual, you have to remember that. Okay, so first of all, in yesterday's class, I have, you know, I have already discussed about this. Actually, this is modified Lindemann theory. Hinshel would modify Lindemann's. What happens? Every energized molecule, first of all, will convert into this activated molecule, then activated molecule will convert into the product. This is okay. But a small modification is there. Whenever you have a diatomic molecule, every diatomic molecule has one vibrational mode only. If you take 3 n minus 5 formula also, by using that formula also, you have to have only one vibrational mode. Whenever you have only one diet, diatomic molecule with one vibrational mode, whatever happens here, you have to have a simple idea on harmonic oscillator and vibrational spectroscopy. If you see here, I drawn a, a rough diagram here. Here V equal to 1, V equal to 2, V equal to 3. Surfaces are forming, right? So the molecule will exit from one energy level to the uh, another energy level. So whenever you have diatomic molecule with one vibrational mode, so if the molecule will try to excite from one surface to the another surface right so this is called excitation energy if this excitation energy will equal to the dissociation energy the bond will break as rapidly as possible as fast as possible okay within less than 10 power minus 12 or minus 13 seconds bond will break so that's the reason why diatomic molecules are not applicable what happens first of all if you have diatomic molecule this will convert into this activated molecule but here what happens here this activated molecule should lose some energy to revert back okay to reform this a but whenever you have diatomic molecule with one vibrational mode this is just not happening here okay this thing not happening here here the activated molecule is not losing it its energy is not able to lose its energy to reform its a right so that's the reason why here equilibrium is not forming equilibrium stuff is not forming when you have diatomic molecule right so that's the reason why so whenever equilibrium is not forming Lindemann theory is not satisfied right so that's the reason why here diatomic molecules are not considered in Lindemann theory this is Hinshel, Hinshelwood modification of Lindemann theory okay so for this for this explanation you can go through the reference link second if you want you can go through Google also okay so just type uh, why diatomic molecules are uh, are not applicable in Lindemann theory you can get the answer okay so that's all thank you so much for watching